Hey guys, this is Eric from www.finalcutstudioschool.com and um, I'm here to show you a guy emailed me and wanted to know how to work with replicators. I haven't really had a tutorial on replicators so I figured I could come in here and show you guys what it's all about. Let me close down this window because this is for a later tutorial. And let me try to widen this one up a little bit and here we go. Now we're going to start by working with replicators this time. So I'm going to go to my library. I'm going to go into my content right here. Under my content, you can go up to your search field and type flower, or you can just search for it however you want to do it. And this little splint and flower is inside your content folder. This is what I'm going to work with to show you as an example of what replicators can do. So let me open my uh, project, my layers tab here. So let me bring my flower in and drop it on the canvas and size it down just a little bit so it fits in there nice like that right there now we have this spinning flower so what are we going to do with this spinning flower okay well I'm going to show you what does it have in the world does it have to do with replicators well I'm going to deselect everything and click a new group on the plus symbol I'm going to drag the new group below the flower group as a matter of fact I'm going to rename this to flower so you guys won't get confused. Now, <clears throat> now we have this blank group under the flower group. So I'm going to go to my file browser and find me a picture. Uh, and I'm going to use this little apple with the windows color. So now we have this overlay and it looks kind of funny. So what you want to do is go up to your flower group and click this little on checkbox and turn it off. So you don't have to worry about it. So now, as you can see, I have this little white box around my picture. I want to get rid of that, so I'm going to select my picture, go to Inspector, check the crop checkbox, and twirl down the triangle and crop in my crop off my white edges. And now we got that. Now I'm going to scale it down to about right, like that, like there. As you can see, I scaled it down pretty good. Now, I want to go up here and hit the replicate button. And boom, this makes my, this replicates my picture. So I'm going to drag this out to where I can see all the apples like that right there. So now, what I want to do is, I'm going to manipulate this replicator. So as you can see, if I select, select replicator 1 and I select the replicator tab, under the shape parameter you can click the pop-up box and select all kinds of stuff select image now what you want to do is this gives an image source box right here what you want to do is drag the flower that we had just turned the check box off now just because the check mark box is off and we can't see it doesn't mean it isn't in our project still this is a very good tip if you want to use an image as a shape but you don't want the actual white shape in your project just de-check it but it's still in your project and you can still use it as a source image so I'm going to drag this spinning flower to my source image and that maps it to our the apple to our flower so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the replicator I want to go to my columns I'm going to take my columns all the way up I'm going to take my rows all the way up and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to take the scale down and as you can see, this little our little pitcher apples are taking the shape of our pitcher. Pretty cool, huh? Now this not only works with, say, the flower, for instance, it also works with any type of pitcher that you want to do this this with. Um, let's see what else we can do that's funky. Let's add a behavior. Let's add a spin behavior. And we'll take our spin behavior and twirl it around a few times. Like that. Now our apples spin. So I just think that's it. And you can also, you don't have to have it throbbing and pulsing like that. You can have it just staying still or doing whatever you want. But this is a good example of replicators. Um, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with replicators. Um, don't be afraid to just get in and just try it out. As you can see we can go in 3D here 
and I can twirl around you can see the shape better if you can play it you can still twirl around it as it plays so uh, I hope this has helped guys give you an idea of where you can go with replicators and what you can do with replicators this is just the tip of the iceberg there's all kinds of stuff you can do and um, I hope this helps this is Eric from Final Cut Studio School saying we'll see you next time